Hi, this is Gary. Uh, we're going to do the part two of making some pizza. Yeah. yeah it's going to be good. i got a lot of toppings here, a lot of different things, and uh, I think it's going to be uh, pretty interesting. So, let's get going with it. It's getting cold in here, so let's get going. The rising nice. i got a good, good start on it, and... Uh, so we could start with, uh, well, I'll talk about the ingredients, the toppings a little bit. We've got some giant salami, we've got some hot spicy sausage, some dried canned mushrooms, and some pepper jack cheese back here, already grated, ready to go. So we can just uh, put these guys on, just like that, and um, I'm going to put the... I'm going to put the sauce on top last, just a little, um, just, uh, just, uh, underneath the cheese, so I'm going to put the cheese on top. You can put, you can put the sauce in a bag like this, and then you can just squeeze it out a little bit like this, and you're just using a little bit of sauce, not too much. And that's, about all you need right there. We'll put a little, uh, these guys on there just like this, see how that goes. You can experiment with what you have at home. I have other toppings we're going to use as well. We're going to use some uh, onion and some green uh, bell pepper. And then we've got these guys. And, um, you want to keep the cheese nice and uh, well, well grated like this. I call it like um, loose. You want to keep it fairly loose. So it goes on like that. That's really that's really all you need for uh, first topping. We'll, uh, I'll let you go and we'll get ready for the next top. And here's how the first pizza came out. And that's about what I'd expect. They, they poof up really nice, real nice thick crust. Uh, just a couple toppings on top and that's just a nice basic pizza and we'll get uh, started here and we'll get the next one going. Uh, let's do sausage on this guy. So it's, I like this big chunky sausage. I cook it in the uh, fry pan and I put water in it and that way you don't get a lot of uh, oil flying around in the air. And then sometimes I crush these up into little pieces and I put them on and they work pretty good that way or uh, sometimes I leave them whole like that. I break them up with the fry pan while I'm, uh, excuse me there, while I uh, cook them in the fry pan, I cut them up with a spatula. Works out real good. I've done it quite a few times that way. Okay, and then we got, I'll do some more of the mushrooms here, just like this. As much as you want, but again, a good pizza doesn't need a lot of toppings really. Now I'm cooking this just to show how small of equipment you can use. I'm cooking this in a, a very uh, standard um, toaster oven. And then just a little sauce. This works out, as you can see, this works out pretty decently. This same, uh, this same pizza uh, dough, I have made um, a real sweet like a dessert type pizza before. We could roll it up with cinnamon and sugar and a little butter or something, a little oil, and make a real nice dessert type pizza as well. I've done that before. That comes out very nice. You just don't want to drop the uh, cheese off the edge. You want to keep the you want to keep the cheese up on. You want to keep it off the metal there, off the edge. And. Um, like that. Yeah, I got the oven uh, preheating, so we're ready to go. That's a good looking pizza already. Mmm, can't smell that, can ya? Whoa, you just wait till, till you make your own. Here we go. Okay, this is how the sausage came out. Sausage and mushroom pizza with the pepper jack cheese on top. top. Came out pretty good. Not too bad. Um, Oh, we'll keep right on going. If it's working, we're not going to change anything. 
Okay, this is the last pizza I'm going to video for today. We're going to do all uh, vegetarian stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, mushrooms. You can use the fresh mushrooms if you want. I just, I like to buy stuff and keep it in the refrigerator or in the in the pantry. I don't like running to the store every time I need to pick something up. So these work out good for that reason. I know some people just can't stand mushrooms that are uh, out of the can, but and here's the uh, bell pepper. Just some nice long slices. I'm uh, making this one for uh, for Pauline, my uh, one of my uh, online friends. Thought she'd get a kick out of this. She doesn't like a lot of a lot of pork or a lot of beef, so uh, I thought she she'd get a kick out of this. I'm just gonna throw them right on top, nice and loose there, like that. A sauce on that. We have been doing it. I like it that way. It's worked out pretty good. That's not very much sauce. You know, if you have a tomato problem and you're not big on tomatoes, this is a good way to do it. You're not dirtying up a bunch of tools to to apply it and so on. And then some of this nice cheese on top. You can, you, of course, you can use any kind of cheese you want. I like these pre-seasoned cheeses that they're, they're all ready to go pretty much. Okay, this is our last pizza for today. Um, it's just the vegetables, a little sauce, a little cheese on top. Uh, I probably could have cooked it a little longer. I'm just a little blurry on burning stuff. The, uh, this just shows the versatility of pizza. You virtually can put anything on pizza that you really enjoy. And so, uh, this is a thumbs up. This is for you, Pauline. I hope you like it. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.